Hi, I'm Jonathan, an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. In this video, I'm going to cover how to apply texture to your models so they have a more realistic appearance when you render them in PhotoView 360. Now most of the appearances in the default SOLIDWORKS library have some texturing information built in. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and apply texture manually. Now you're going to want to have the photo view add-in turned on and you'll want to switch to the advanced view of the property manager for the appearance. The texturing information is found on the surface finish tab of the property manager. Now you can pick from one of the predefined textures here in the list or you can actually create your own using this from file option and any black and white image. I'm going to apply a dimpled appearance to this part. I can control the dimple spacing here with the dimple size option and then I'll need to choose between bump mapping and displacement mapping. Now these are essentially two different techniques to simulate the application of texture to this part. I'm going to use displacement mapping and a 5 millimeter tall dimple for this video. If you want more information on the difference between these two techniques as well as some limitations you might run into when using them, click on the link in the description below to go to the Hawkridge Systems blog where I have a post on exactly that subject. Now with our preview turned on you can see we have a dimpled surface but the dimples are not all the same size or shape. Let's see if I can make that any better by editing my appearance. Now on the mapping tab of my property manager I can choose how the dimples are projected onto the surfaces of the part. The automatic option is the default choice but we have four others to choose from. In this case I have spherical geometry so I'll use a spherical mapping. When the preview updates you'll see that it's a little bit better but I have some dimples that are bunching up near at the top of my part here. We can get that out of the way however by just rotating our mapping by 90 degrees in two directions. I can also change the size of the dimples so that they're a little smaller across the surface of my part. When I accept those changes and rebuild the part, you'll see that when the preview updates, we have a nice, evenly dimpled surface. So this has been just a quick overview of the steps you need to go through to apply a texture to your renderings in SOLIDWORKS. Make sure to subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems channel, and as always, thanks for watching.